French Montana pointing and saying, you know what I'm saying, you know, look at this nigga getting robbed. So I have an exclusive statement by one of the men who was present during the shooting that happened during French Montana's video shoot out in Miami Gardens. Now, this happened outside of a restaurant called The Licking, and there was multiple people shot and injured as well. Two of those people were the rapper Rob49 and also French Montana's bodyguard who was critically injured during the shooting. Now, during my exclusive conversation with the alleged witness that seen the shooting, he claimed that he and his friend was actually held at gunpoint at KFC just one hour before this shooting took place when they were recording the music videos for French Montana's upcoming mixtape. He was celebrating a release according to French Montana, but this man gave me exclusive details of what allegedly happened. Also claiming that the people that robbed him may have been the same people that went to try and attempt to rob the rapper French Montana and Rob four nine. So I'm going to play this audio. I want you guys to hear what he said allegedly happened. Remember everything that's being stated by this witness is all his views and opinions. All right. I don't want anyone to get that twisted. This is not my views and opinions, but I am a media outlet and I want to give this man a platform to speak. And he released these statements to me, not only in audio form, but he also sent me a few text messages giving me the alleged details of what went down at both restaurants. And when I say both restaurants, there was two shootings and robberies that occurred within 60 minutes of each other. This first robbery that allegedly occurred involved the witness that is featured on my podcast today. And he was there with his friend when his friend was robbed of a few items, including his watch. I believe he stated his cell phone and also his car keys. From there, he stated an hour had passed and he went to the French Montana video shoot. And then the assailants attempted to allegedly rob French Montana. And when they were unsuccessful, this is when these alleged robbers decided to let off several rounds using automatic guns. All right. So I want you guys to hear this exclusive. This is a DJ Jericho podcast exclusive. And then I'm going to speak further on the new statements that just came out by French Montana stating the situation. Also, I will read our direct eight DMS and text messages to each other and tell you guys what he stated to me, giving further details outside of what he stated in the exclusive audio clip that you guys are about to listen to. Now give this a listen. This is a music artist by the name Sid Mogul. You guys can find him on social media. I will tag him. Of course, if you guys are watching into video form, I will tag him so you guys can go support this man. But check this out and stay tuned. Do not log out just soon because I have some exclusive video footage of the aftermath before the situation and after the situation from this witness. So check this out. My thing uh, is like you can't rob nobody and expect not to get no karma. So if you try to rob French Mantana and the security guard, you know, saved his life by getting shot in now critical condition, and probably even uh, Rob Forty Nine saved French Mantana. Like, cause my homeboy got robbed for his Rolex and his and his his car keys and his phone. So we left for one scene in the back of you know KFC where that all situ that situation all happened. You see French Montana pointing and saying, you know what I'm saying, you know, look at this nigga getting robbed. And then we left to the next scene within that hour and went to the finger licking. And from the finger licking, you know what I'm saying, I went to go see my sponsors throw back cigars. And you can see, you know, his kids out there, everybody out there. And, you know, whoever started shooting, shooting, you know what I'm saying, shot 10 people with an AR-15. And I think, you know what I'm saying, probably French Montana security guard saved his life. But unfortunately, Ralph for the nine got hit. And, you know, you know, this is it's just me, Seth Mogul, telling you from what I've seen and everything like that. So this is the audio that I was sent by the alleged witness of what happened. As you guys can see on the screen, here's a couple of photos as well of French Montana and the rapper Rob49 standing right there. I did ask this alleged witness, you know, exactly what happened, you know, just getting more details on the kind of situation that French Montana allegedly was in. And he stated that French Montana 
was actually standing outside trying to do, I guess, the outside scene with the cars and everything. And then that's when these assailants came in on foot attempting to rob the rappers, both Rob49 and French Montana. Particularly, they were trying to focus on French Montana, allegedly, and rob him. And when they were unsuccessful, because, of course, French Montana's bodyguard was not having it, he was doing his job. And I want to send a prayer out to that man, because according to this witness, French Montana's bodyguard is still currently in the hospital. So we're just going to send a prayer out for him. This assailant, once he got irritated due to him not allegedly getting what he wanted, attempting to rob French, he let off. And these guys, they just start shooting, shooting, shooting. They just start spraying with an automatic gun. He says an AR-15. And then I did ask him, you know, what were they dressed in? He said that their face was covered and everything else and that they were on foot shooting and then they jumped into a vehicle and they sped off. At this time... No one has been arrested in connections with the shooting. And, of course, like I said before, French Montana security guard saved his life. And, you know, this is just awful what allegedly happened. I just want to revert back to the hour prior to the actual shooting that involved French Montana and his entourage. Uh, the witness was actually there with his friend when these assailants originally attempted to rob his friend and they allegedly took his car keys and watch at the KFC, which is in close proximity of the other restaurant, the licking. Now he said that this, these incidences that happened both happened the same night, but only an hour apart. So when he arrived to the video shoot, that's when the assailants showed up again. And this time they were attempting to rob French Montana. So this is the information that I have collected on this exclusive. I do have, of course, the DMs. I, I might show the screenshots of the DMs. I'm not quite sure if I want to do that right now, but I might show you guys just one or two and put my watermark for you guys to see it. Now, since then, French Montana made a statement this afternoon on Twitter regarding this shooting and stated last night, I was in Miami celebrating the release of my CB6 mixtape with friends at a local restaurant. We unfortunately were at the wrong place at the wrong time when an incident took place that left people hurt. Our thoughts and prayers are with the victims and families at this time. So this is a statement for French Montana speaking out in regards to the situation. I, I know you guys seen all of the receipts on this. I want to know what you guys think about this and this personal exclusive that I have. Me personally, I just feel like being a rapper has to be one of the most dangerous jobs in the world. And I don't know if it's because people are jealous or if it's just a street lifestyle or if it's just people that are greedy and they don't like the fact that these rappers actually have um, the money and the things that they have. And, you know, we're in a, in a terrible economy right now. So there's a lot of people out here starving, you know, broke. And just seeing a rapper with jewelry and money or presenting to be, you know, wealthy, it, it seems like it drives these guys on the street crazy. And, you know, now they're just out here letting off and shooting people. This was like a mass shooting. But thankfully, according to the witness I spoke with, no one passed away due to their injuries. And that's the blessing of this whole situation that everybody that was shot and injured has survived for now. We do know that French Montana's bodyguard is allegedly in the hospital. And we know that four, that Rob 49 was also injured, but he is doing better. Okay. So and I'm pretty sure he's expected to survive. And based off this alleged information, the witness gave me, it seems that these may be the same people, the same people that attempted to rob or did rob his friend and attempted to rob French Montana may have been the same group of people here. But of course, as the story develops, I will keep you guys updated. I'm very excited about being able to speak with someone that was actually at the scene and could give more vivid details of what happened. This, this witness stated that of course, once the shooting happened, he ducked and uh, hit the ground uh, trying to hide out. Uh, but it was just a horrific, tragic scene, and it was terrible to see and witness um, a very horrific ordeal for this individual. But I do want to put in some seriousness in this whole situation that, you know, the violence in hip-hop has to stop. I feel like there's always some type of shootings going on involving these rappers. It just seemed like that's the theme, and I personally wouldn't recommend anybody entering to enter that field. Like I, I don't understand why it's so much violence and shooting going on 
all the time. I feel like there's a new shooting every month, every other week, every day involving rappers and hip hop artists. And, you know, something has to stop. Something has to intervene in regards to all of this going down. But unfortunately, I feel like there'll never be a day that this actually stops. Uh, the only way that it would stop is if, if people just stop rapping and that's not going to happen. So, and you know, it's a lot of people that love hip hop, but I, I just feel like all of this street violence and all this other stuff, it has to stop. And I just would recommend, you know, the hip hop artists out there just, you know, try to be more discreet when it comes to wearing chains and having money and flaunting and stuff like that. And also sharing locations when you're out. Uh, so you don't be caught up in an incident where you're either injured or just flat out killed. Like we literally just buried PNB rock. We literally just have to bury takeoff, you know, and it's just like a whole slew and a list of hip hop artists that we've lost over the past few years uh, due to this unfortunate gun violence slash robbery. Uh, majority of these shootings were robberies. Um, except for takeoff, of course, takeoff, he just was an innocent bystander to a bunch of nonsense, allegedly. Uh, but majority of these rappers do, who were killed, uh, they were attempted robberies or just like street gang affiliated situations going on, allegedly, allegedly. Uh, but either way, the violence needs to stop. All right. And I did put this exclusive out because I wanted to really try to dive into the details of what happened and try to give you guys something to actually listen to hear the actual eyewitness accounts of what allegedly occurred uh, versus me going through social media and going off of the news and everything else. You know, I seen the people that were involved and I did my research and I reached out who I needed to reach out to, uh, to try to get further information on what allegedly happened at this shoot. Now, if you guys have your further thoughts in regards to this, feel free to leave your comments, but this should be a wake up call. All of my people out there that love hip hop fans of hip hop and just hip hop artists. It's time for us to make a change. It's time for everybody to make a change. Stop being so violent. Everyone just stop the violence today, but I will keep you guys updated as the story continues to develop. And I want to know if you guys think the person that attempted to rob French Montana, whether you, whether these were the same people that actually robbed this witness that I just spoke with and his friend. So share your thoughts on this situation. If you guys are new to my page, make sure you guys hit that sub button wherever you're listening, whether it's on Spotify, Apple podcast, wherever it is, um, or just Twitter, wherever you're listening, make sure you guys hit that follow button and subscribe button, um, for more exclusive content. This is DJ Jericho podcast where we talk about entertainment news, world news and gossip. You guys can hear more and share your thoughts about the situation below. And I'll catch you guys on the next video. Much love. Peace.